Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I figured we'd kind of make a continuation off the yesterday's video and kind of work down our scraps just a little bit. So I watch a lot of people uh, YouTubing, mostly Gail Agostinelli, and she loves doing clusters and she loves doing like collage work and stuff like that. That being said, she also uses a lot of um, little phrases and tickets and little tiny things like that. So this is actually where I got my inspiration for this particular idea was just by simply watching her for, I don't know, almost two years now. Um, and... I happen to have a lot of these uh, ideology sticker books and I bought them a long time ago. I've just never used them. Like they're still full. Crazy. I know. Anyway, so I figured I would utilize these little books and I actually have three of these books. The, the rest. Uh, no. I, yeah, I have three of these and then I have two that are like sticker books but they're spiral like this but they're not words but anyway I figured I would bring one of the books and I would show you guys my idea for busting up some more scraps uh, and again like I said this was inspired by Miss Gail and her um the way that she likes to craft basically so um I have been keeping everything crap i have been keeping everything and by everything i do mean everything and i just dropped a bunch on the floor that's just why i said crap um but i think that's it okay so let's grab these little teeny tiny guys here so i had recently made a bunch of Valentine's cards and I put a whole bunch of random Valentine cards on the shop and so if you're looking for um Valen Valentine's cards for like I don't know swaps just saying um you can get eight for ten dollars at and they're all homemade you know what else uh but anyway they're on the shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sticky these even further. Um, no, nothing against Mr. Mr. Holtz or anything, but I do want these to last a good bit of time. So I'm going to sticky these and no rhyme, no reason. I am just picking them up and hoping that they're long enough to go down. And they don't even have to go the right right way okay you know i might just stick these down and i want to see if they have enough sticky on them because this is going to make them very dirty i think uh let's grab tweezers that'll probably help because then i'm not touching them as much let's put my pokey tool away from yesterday actually it was like five minutes ago for me <laughs> But, um, I really, really want to get through some of these scraps. So I just turned you guys back on and I'm like, ah, let's play some more. So and I try to put the lids to my back in the ding thing that we don't lose them. All right. So maybe if I don't touch them, it'll be fine. So I'm just going to kind of put them on here straight. It doesn't matter if they're upside down, right side up, whatever. That part doesn't matter. Because they're all going to get, when you put them down, they're going to, they're going to get worked out anyway. So this one says, go out and make things happen. I like that phrase a lot. It's like you... You make things happen. Things don't happen to you. I mean, sometimes bad stuff happens, sure. But you, you are the one that makes things happen. And I just broke something. I think it was one of the 15 layers of paper I have on my desk. I have a couple layers of paper. This one says, have hope. All right, so... 
let's do a couple of these and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with those. So I just have a bunch of these. This says Happy Valentine's Day. That's very fitting. Oh, and that's very crooked. I mean, I guess you could make them crooked. If you wanted to. Oh, also too, I had to fix my husband's jacket today, which means there's now black thread in my sewing machine. So I'm wondering what can I do with black thread, which is actually what prompted this whole thing to believe it or not, because the stickers on the back of this are black. See, they're black with white writing. Which I'm not sure if I will use. Um, I might one day. I don't know. Maybe. I do use black often, but I don't normally use it as like a focal point. I use it more of like um like an accent, you know. This one says, "Learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow." That one's good. I like that one. This one says, you're never too old to dream a new dream. Ain't that the truth? I like that one. Okay. And this seems to be working okay. Mm, this one would have to be very... Perfect. All right. Me and you stuck like glue is what that says. Challenge yourself. I like that one. And I actually really like the fact that this one's just barely bordered. Like, I don't know if you can see that. I don't have autofocus on my camera. I mean, I could turn it on, I guess. Mm. All right, let's see. Are you going to work? Oh, there it is. And then it disappeared. Wait. I never really understood how this thing works, but I guess because I'm holding it funny. There it is. Oh, it disappeared. I'm probably just making y'all's eyes hurt. <laughs> okay, no, we're not sitting here wait, watching it pulse at us. Anyway, um, there's like a a sixteenth of an inch of a border. It's like really, really, really cool. All right. So anyway, how are you guys? How is how is being cooped up treating you? Are you cooped up? Um, I know in our state we don't have like super strict guidelines, but um pretty sure there's a curfew i wouldn't know to be honest with you because i don't really go out past a certain time anyway but um i think that one's too big um but i think i think there's a curfew and i know that every place has required you to wear a mask otherwise you can't go in um But we're actually not allowed to go to a lot of places anyway, because Wayne's in the military, right? So we're actually not allowed to go to a lot of places anyway. So, um, oh, and here's, you guys know these things. Um, these are the, the tops of your papers. This one's actually from uh, Prima. It's from the Lavender Collection. But I had cut a bunch of these. Well, not a bunch. I only had like four papers left. But 
I had cut a few of those uh, because I did my packaging today for the uh, for the doily cluster flowers things, whatever they're called. Um, So I'm, basically, I'm just moving the stickers from one place to the next, and then we're going to we're going to work on what's next. <laughs> but it really takes like no time at all. Become your best you. I like that. And then see, you can also go through and um, find your bone folder. And then you could like kind of just score these. Not score them. Burnish. You could burnish them if you wanted to. I'm not doing that. That takes a lot of time. But I could do this. Bloop. And we could probably do this entire sheet in less than 20 minutes. Probably. Mm, that's too big. Oh, I'll do another tiny, tiny pink one. Oh, this one's too big. That's not going to work. There's more than one here. Oh, that's the one I already did. <laughs> of course there's more than one there. Oh, that's too big too. Well, fart. I want more of the pink ones. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. And I just grabbed another scrap out of my, my folder here. It's the same one from yesterday. I showed you guys very briefly at the beginning of the video. Um, I did not actually sit down and cut out more of the scraps just yet because I wanted to get this video up for you guys first. And then I'll sit down and just, I'll sit down and chill while my video is, because I have to put them both into the editing program because I figured out that if I am trying to edit one of the videos I cannot record because it'll like it'll mess with the audio it's really weird but I did figure that out so I won't be making that mistake again um but while I'm sitting here waiting for those to upload into the editing software or export from the editing software that's really where the time is and then upload into the tubes of the, the you. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be doing other than cutting out some of these guys. Um, I've been looking for another show to watch. But then again, I get so bored so quick that it doesn't make things easy, huh? I want to put something else right there, but I don't think I have enough. No, that's too bad. All right. And these are all kind of Valentine's y that I've noticed. Okay, yeah, let's use some of these smaller pieces here. Thank you. 
Now that's pretty fitting. It says Happy Easter on this really pale turquoise color. There's no such thing as too much candy. <laughs> oh, that's so true. I love candy, though. <laughs> it was funny. I was talking to a friend of mine today. And because um, I was just like, man, there's no such thing as good food and bad food. Because it is all about the proportions you eat. Because you can eat Skittles if you want to. Don't eat the whole four-pound bag. But you can eat Skittles if you want to. And Doritos. Oh, I love Dor Cool Ranch Doritos. Oh, they're so yummy. Anyway, I was just like, girl, I love me some Doritos. But it's all about the portion control. You don't control your portions. That's what gets us in the end. I mean, think about the portions just at like, um, like your fast food joints. Uh, think about what you can go out and buy right now. Whereas you have separate sizes, small, medium, large. And like back in the day, it was, you got one size. That was it. And it was like what our kids size are is now. But that was, that was all you got was, you know, the serving size. But then, you know, our servings started getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's just kind of like, now, you know, an order of french fries, FDA-wise, is like five servings. But according to the general public, it's just one serving because it's, you know, it's just one large. <laughs> oh, man, that'll get you every time, too. This is om nom nom nom. But fries. Girl, I know. I know. Don't get me wrong. I like some fries. We eat at McDonald's. We eat at Burger King. We even do like pizza. We actually really like pizza. Um, I like Little Caesars just because it's really cheap and really fast. Because they're like 10 minutes down the road from us. So um, he'll, he'll just order something on the, on the app. And, you know, then he'll go and pick it up. And, you know, between, hey, I want some pizza. And food being on the table, it would be like maybe 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. So I do like the convenience of it. Um, like Grubhub and Uber Eats and stuff like that is convenient theoretically. And I say theoretically because by the time you're like, hey, we should get Uber Eats for whatever. And the time you get your cold food from Uber Eats is like an hour and a half. I have yet to actually get good food from Uber Eats. And we still use them because we're lazy, <laughs> honestly. But I don't know why, because we never have a good experience. It's always, it never fails. It is always really bad food. And it's not because they're bad restaurants. It's because we place the order, the restaurant makes the food, and then it sits there and waits until the driver can go and get it. And then it sits in the driver's car until the driver can get to wherever you are. So, yeah. Not the best experience in the world, but, I mean, it works great for... People like us who are lazy and don't feel like going to get it. And as long as you don't order anything fried, I think it'll be fine. Like, we order a lot of pasta, honestly. 
um, from places like Uber Eats, I mean. All right, so we did this whole page. It's completely empty now. All gone. So um, we can actually just tear that out. Or not. There we go. Yes! Okay. That's pretty. I never noticed the inside before. That's really pretty. Once I'm done with this, I'll tear it apart and then I'll cut it to pieces. I'm not keeping that. Okay. So, a couple things. You can grab a pair of scissors. You can grab a diff Sorry. You can grab a different pair of scissors. Or yet again a different pair of scissors. Or another pair. I actually really really like these two specifically for what we're doing. This one's okay. That one's my ticket one. So, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to take our scissors and we're going to chop off the end. And we're going to chop off the end. And then we're going to cut in between each word. Or not each word, but each phrase. Okay. And then make sure you cut the end again. And make sure you cut the end again. Okay, you stink. Okay. So now we've got cute little labels. Right? So then you can throw these in the bucket. Boop. And then you can do another one. So now we've got even more labels. And then like this one, this one's kind of close to the edge on this side. So I will just use regular scissors on this and cut them straight down the middle. And that's it. But what's really great about doing it this way is um, you can get a lot of very quick ready to go labels ready to go onto a label ready to be the label you know whatever what have you to be that accent piece that you're looking for and again because the border is really really narrow here I used my straight scissors and I do have a few oh this is the ticket one actually which is really cool too. And these are Fiskars. Lying paper. Oh, and see, here's another one where the straight scissors would come in handy because I have to cut them apart this way. Okay. There is somebody that I watch that would use pieces in here for her scraps. And for the life of me, I cannot remember her name, but she is just the cutest ever. She is, um, I want to say she's English. And, oh my gosh, she's so amazing. She's the one that had, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, um, but last year she did the, um, I, think, I think it was called Exciting, Exciting Envelopes. And um, she had done a bunch of, of videos in there. And I can't remember her name. I think her name is Angela. I don't remember the name of the channel. It's Angela. It is. It's Angela. Um, oh, what is the name of her channel? 
Oh my gosh. It, well, I got half of it. I got, I got her name, her first name, at least. I know. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's in my book. Um, no, that's someone else. Hmm. I'm going to have to find her and write her down because she's very, very cool to watch. And if you guys like just watching people like craft with me videos, she's very, very cool to watch. Um, and I have been like binge. Wa Why did I do that? I've been binge watching her. Um, I'm actually going to save this because that's a pretty nice chunk. And she's, she's really cool. Very inspiring too. Like, I don't even think she means to be, but just the, her attitude and her personality is just, it's so warm, you know, it's just, it's really nice listening to people that are just so positive and warm and real. Um, it's just, it's refreshing. You know what I mean? It's just, especially now, it's so refreshing. <laughs> I know I said that already, but it really is just to, to meet people, even though she has no idea who I am, um, but just to interact with people, even if very briefly and only one-sided, but it's just very refreshing to interact with people that are real, that aren't, you know, saying what you th they think you want to hear or pretending to be something they're not or you know because in today's age it's like you never really know you know <laughs> it's crazy you know but like i said it's refreshing it's great you should go see her sorry i moved off camera you should go see her her name is angela i will try to find her uh, channel. Actually, I won't even have to try because I know she's, I know she's got, um, or I have at least one of her videos just frozen on my bar because I'm telling you, I watch her all of the time. Okay. She is like my new favorite person to watch. I promise it's crazy. Okay. So in 30 minutes, we have made all of these yummy, yummy tags. Look at this. And more labels, not tags, but labels. And so there are a bajillion and one digitals. So if you don't have these stickers, that's okay because there are so many people that have words like this that you can use and utilize and cut them out and use them, print them on sticker paper and use them just like you would stickers. Um, Shabby Dabby Doodah, um, Roxy Creations or Foxy or I don't even know. My brain stopped working. I'm hungry at seven o'clock. I haven't eaten dinner yet. Um, but, uh, it, it's Foxy, not Roxy. No, it is Roxy. There's two. Oh my gosh. My brain hurts. Anyway, there is a lot of people and I will see, um, oh, my porch prints is another one that's really good about having labels. Um, basically the ones like the only thing that's really in their shop, because as soon as they make anything handmade, it disappears. Like it was never even posted. Poof, gone. <laughs> like it disappears quick. Um, but uh, basically the people that only have digitals in their shop. Yeah, they, uh, they normally are really, really good about having labels and words and phrases and such. And I'll see if I can't dig some up for you guys. And, um, print those out and maybe the next time we see each other, I'll have some digitals for you guys. 
Uh, anyway, you guys have fun. Thanks again. And I hope that you, this has inspired you to use up some of your scraps. Even the tiniest of scraps are useful. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.